Good morning, everybody. How are you all doing? This is Dr. Nandi from the channel You Can Do Math. Here I am. I'm going to talk about today a GRE quant preparation problem. What problem in algebra solved all for you? Before I get started, let me mention that I've got all kinds of solved problem in maths from GRE quant preparation to statistics to algebra to geometry to trigonometry to calculus. I've got all bases covered. So why are you waiting? Please subscribe for my channel because you have free access to all these problems. So without further ado, I'll get started. Sadie sells half the paintings in her collection, gives one third of her paintings to friends and gives the remaining paintings for herself. What fraction of her collection does Sadie keep? Let X be the total number of paintings owned by Sadie initially. She sold half of X or X by two paintings. She then gives one third of X or X by three paintings. So she keeps the remaining. What does she keep? She keeps X, which was her initial total number of paintings, minus the quantity she sells, which is X over T in parenthesis, plus um, she gives X over three paintings. That also in parenthesis. So we have, so Sadie keeps X minus X over two minus X over three. So, you notice the common denominator between two and three is six. So six is being the common denominator. I can write X, the first term X as six X by six, which is six and six cancels is X. That's why I can write it as six X minus six, minus six being the common denominator. Two multiplied by three in the denominator is six. Therefore the numerator has to be multiplied by three and we get three X minus three goes into six, two. That is three multiplied by two is six. So the numerator also gets multiplied by two. It is minus two X. Hence we have six X minus two X minus three X, both are minus, we add them. So we have six X divided by six minus three X minus two X divided by six is minus five X by six. So which is, 6x minus 5x divided by 6 is x over 6 or 1x by 6. We just do not write the 1. It is x over 6. Thus, the fraction Sadie keeps for herself is one-sixth of the original amount because she originally started with x and now she is left with x over 6. So she keeps the one-sixth of the original amount. So I will stop here today. If you have a comment, please write to me. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And please subscribe to my channel because I'm coming back next time with another solved problem. Uh, all for you. Okay. Take care. Have a nice day. See you next time.